How do you perceive your environment? As humans, we rely on all of our senses to understand the world, but rely mostly upon our sight. But fish, dolphins and other marine animals do things slightly differently. Because we rely on sight so heavily, we often don't think about how noise can affect other organisms. To us, noise can be just a bit of a nuisance, but for a fish or a dolphin relying on noise for their survival, it can spell utter disaster. And noise is just another form of pollution like the litter that we see around us. It's just overlooked because we can't see it. Our team, Sail Against Plastic, journeyed to Svalbard to find out how sound has affected this Arctic wilderness. One of the things that really a lot of research has gone into is whales and dolphins. So they echolocate and communicate across huge ranges. Um, they can communicate with other individuals like 2,000 miles away. But when you get noise interfering between there, there's no way that across that kind of distance that they're going to be able to communicate by any other sense other than these really long range, low frequency uh, echolocatory calls. A lot of the noise um, comes from looking for oil and gas, um, where you have um, this seismic blasting and you've got a lot of the frequencies there which are interfering with uh, whale and dolphin communication with the actual work going on. You have things like pile driving where you pick these big concrete blocks into the ground underwater um, which is causing big shock waves and that kind of activity um, is where you've got really high intensity which is going to be causing the really critically damaging effects. Um, so things like instant and um, stress response in dolphins and getting gas bubble formation and mass strandings, that's sort of the kind of thing that will cause that. And it's one of the really scary things about the Arctic, that with climate change and receding, the sea ice has become a lot more accessible. So a lot of countries recently bordering the Arctic have put in, uh, in claims, basically, in, on territory and area. Yeah, I think one of the really easy things that you can do is just try and make an effort to eat locally. Um, but a lot of this uh, noise is coming from uh, international shipping um, of unnecessary things like going to your supermarket and seeing 12 different varieties of apples all not from the UK and um, coming from Chile, from New Zealand, from South Africa um, we're quite good at growing apples in the UK um, and equally any other country just trying to consume what's actually produced in your local area um, means that it's not having to be dragged cr halfway across the world and um, producing all this ocean noise with it alongside um, the carbon cost is a really easy way that you can do that um, and the worst you're going to do is help out your local economy um, so it's not too bad and then just reducing energy consumption as well a lot of this marine noise is produced for oil and gas production and surveying for that so if there's less of a demand for more fossil fuels um, then we don't have to survey for them the question that remains is will we keep overlooking this or are we going to make some noise <laughs>